championship, a champion in less than 10 minutes. Look, I'm not going to say Nouns Esports has the weight of the world on their shoulders, but they certainly have the weight of the EU region on their shoulders. They have a huge amount of just fans going crazy every time they secure an objective, every time they take a Zapdos, every KO they take, and they're looking to come unglued for this squad and support them all the way through the finish line. They have all the support behind them. Now they just need to deliver. Now they just need to seal it up. Can they become champions with this one match? It is all on the line for Nouns right now. They cannot give a single game. They must win three in a row. And then after a bracket reset, they must win another three games. They've done it before, but never against Nouns. Excuse me, never against Black Hand. Well, Black Hand's looking to stem that tide, of course. They're up two. I don't see too many drastic changes. I don't think they're going to get goofy here. Like I said before, get it done. Get the job done. Get out of here. Don't even open the door for opportunity for Nouns Esports. Here we are. Nouns Esports, your purple team. Black Hand, your orange team. This is the grand finals, and it could be the last game of the Pokemon Unite World Championships. Here we go, Gatlu playing early, trying to keep Curios out from getting stacks, but that's a fruitless endeavor as they back off. Geese and Brub there for the support. Yeah, Curios in this bottom path with three. It looks like Overlord gonna be playing this top path with the sword. We got the Lord of the Sword here in the top path trying to deal with Red Mazarina. Book pulls up for the support. Adesu back on the Sylveon. That's a great power, level four power spike, and they're gonna try and leverage that in the face of Book. And of course, the Han Edge that takes so long to level up into the Age Slash. Jungle Book heading back down to the central area right here, just looking to get enough experience to evolve. Letting it sit here actually for a second so that that passive experience can sort of tick up, 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 and hopefully get the evolution off of the KO. And yeah. they get it. Perfect timing. Yep, they want to get to that Rabu and keep pushing the pace and leveling up here. Giza Desu just keeping an eye out for what Blackhand might be up to at these top Bs. They've been rotating hard to it, but right now it's just Slash taking a good amount of them, sitting with 12 points, reeling and retreating, and they have to send Nouns Esports with their pockets a little bit more empty than they'd like. Yeah, here we go. They just sent Slash up top so that they could fight down here at this bottom path and throw a bunch of points in the goal. Nouns not able to stop them, but here they come. Now that Sylveon's down, on this bottom path, picking up a couple KOs. Let's go. Nouns Esports turning the tide, getting two big time KOs. Upstairs, we've got Nouns Esports. Redmaw scoring points, hitting Zarina much earlier than in the last game. Slash fighting with Redmaw in this top path, just trying to defend themselves against a mean Zarina. Adesu hanging out in this bottom path, picking up some XP. Elo coming through, getting a core fish. They need to get their levels, of course, most importantly for that second Dreadnought. And we got a base back from the War Turtle from Gatlu. Looks like Gatlu maybe heading up to the top path or into their central area just to get some more experience right now. We got a minute until our first Dreadnought fight. Overlord looking to get that level seven so they can become an Aegis Slash. These two coming through. Curios just going to curse and charge forward. They want to hit level seven soon. But here comes JB with the engage. These two's getting real low. They catch an egg for Brub. Gets a great level of support from Nouns Esports getting a Daisu out of danger. Jungle Book looking great right here. Already level seven, but looking for their level nine. Overlord possibly getting caught out here trying to run, and they cannot get away. Astonished that they got KO'd by that dub blade sent packing, and they need to respawn and get back onto the map. Here we go. Redmond just charging up that Serena's queenly majesty right here as we have bees spawning here in this bottom path. Ooh, a nice little catcher. Maybe a KO. No. Elo able to get out of there as they secure the bees there in the bottom path and start heading down for Dreadnought. Hard rotation here. Black Hand's going to show up in short order as Jungle Book's getting there, and they're absolutely eviscerated as Overlord on the dub blade. Here comes Adesu pushing forward, just trying to zone them out with that hyper voice as they get ready here to possibly take this Dreadnought. Jungle Book not making it to the bottom path just yet. In fact, ooh, Jungle Book, what a sneaky boy heading into the central oh, area of oh, Nouns, and that's stolen by Hyper Blackhand. Space Hole gets it. Jungle Book's play is going to pay off. They're going to get tons of Spirits on the backside, and Elo, you absolute legend. Hyper Space Hole for the secure. Not what you'd expect, but exactly what Blackhand wanted. And Nouns Esports does not not know where Jungle Book is, but here it comes from the back of Pinsir Attack, jumping in here, huge Unite Boom, taking him down, let's go Jungle Book. Curios moving forward, one player down for Nouns Esports, but they're putting together a pretty good push here. Egg to the book, and they're keep pushing forward as well. Ooh. Overlord coming through, Sylveon getting KO on the tree, Overlord getting KO on Zarina.
Jungle Book just heading back here and now going to get some more experience here. What an expert play there from Black Overlord, Hand. what a legend that War Turtle tried to hit the spin, get the berry, and Overlord said this, this sword's too sharp. Here no, sir. we go. Black Hand once again putting pressure on up and out in the top path. They have Jungle Book up here. It's going to be difficult for Nouns to outsecure this, but they've got the egg. They've got the stomp. Here it comes. No, taken down, I believe, actually by Elo, the Hoopa. Redmaw coming through. They're low on HP. They pick up an egg. Book, another KO for them. They're all over Bruv. Curios is trying to leash them back with a big leech of its own. Huge push is what they're looking for. Get them all the gold zone so this Rotom can hit. Bruv is trying their best, but Black Hand's all over them. They get KO'd, and here we go. Black Hand's going to get some points in, and they're going to sandbag it as long as they can because, hey, Elo's got 32. Yeah, there you go. Nice overdunk here for Black Hand, and Black Hand is just playing phenomenally here in game number three. They're playing like they're champions, and they're trying to take it home right now. Now it's eSports not too far behind. A Desu coming through, trying to leverage that Hyper Voice. Overlord picking up an egg, hitting on the retreat. Another odd note for them. Here we go. Overlord slashing it up. Already level 10 here. But you know who's a pretty high level, too? Yeah, it's that Jungle Book. Level 12 Cinderace here at the five-minute mark. Adesu not far behind. Or excuse me, Gatlu not far behind on the Blastoise. That's going to be a point of contention. They have their Unite move, and that's a great way to set up a great engage for now. And here we go. The Unite move's coming in from Hoopa. It looks like everyone's backing off a little bit. The Hyper Voice coming in. No, we're engaging now. Overlord's looking for a way, and they hit a big wide guard, and they're actually just backing off. No sense in engaging into what Nouns Esports is trying to do. Bliss assistance onto Redmaw. They're going to try to get it done. Trevenant Unite back the other way. Huge KO on the Blissey. They're moving far forward rapid spin water spouts going straight after book and they catch them before the reset three players down for black hand and that's red maw absolutely popping off stomping them out like in damakon sue red maw is all over this dreadnought black hand sent packing black hand could not make it home jungle book is going down elo trying to stay around for the steal hey they've done it once before maybe they can do it again this dreadnought is low here comes the big egg from slash let's see who can get in it looks like yes it's gonna be nouns esports red maw getting it done they got all the ko's they got the secure and now it's the hoop again in the mix. Geez about that axe, and they're coming through, but Overlord had the blisters in the first short second. Can they take it down on a Daisu? They do, and now it's poor Geese trying to hold it down. And here we go. Overlord just pushing forward, looking for a KO right here as Kyrios pushes these Bs towards the side of Black Hand. Bruv chipping him up, trying to steal that B out from Overlord. A fruitless endeavor. Again, JB and Elo working through this Rotom. This is going straight in the face of Nouns. Yeah, big pressure as this Rotom is going to head towards Nouns Esports. Something they're going to have to deal with while Black Hand has their pick of all the experience on the map. Yeah, Nouns really needs to turn the focus internally onto their side of the map, get as much of those wild Pokemon as they can, and avoid big time engages to Black Hand. Try and find a pick. Don't go for the big team engages. But look at all the static that's being caused in the bottom path. They need to send resources down there as Black Hand is being relentless on that push. Yeah, it looks like uh, Slash maybe getting a little too far, getting chased down here by Gotless, saying we do not want to let you head home. But no, we are going to back off here because there's more action in the bottom path as Overlord's coming in. Big engage, Rapid Spin Water Spout going to try and find it. They're going to catch a reset here just in time. Great work by Geese to keep them out of trouble. One minute left until Zapdos. Black Hand looking great. Nouns Esports in a solid position here. But the big question mark is, can Nouns actually win a massive fight at Zapdos? They haven't been able to do it yet. Ruff gets a KO on their counterpart. And of course, Overlord keeps trying to level up. Red Maul getting big, level 13. That's who I'm looking for. They're going to need them in a big way if they want to take the Zapdos in the face of what Black Hand's bringing. That's right. That's a level 14 Zarina. And we've seen how powerful Zarina's been all day. If they're able to catch out this Cinderace or this Sword, they might be able to win this fight. Right now, we have 15 seconds until this Zapdos. This could be the last Zapdos of the World Championships. Black Hand is looking to put this thing away right now. Nouns Esports needs this to stay alive, and this fight looks like it could be starting. Curios is all over Gatlu. That's a rapid spin water spout. They catch a big time reset. All that damage fades off. Sword goes in. Overlord tries to find the wide guard. And are they going to engage off of this? The egg goes off. Here we go. Hoop is on bound. They're throwing fists in the air. Big Unite move catches all of Black Hand. They're pushing forward. Bliss assist comes through. That's the first KO. One player down for Nouns. They're going to push forward. They're going to try and convert. They're converging on Bruv. You're going down. See you later. They're moving forward. Overlord's are relentless all over Adesu. That hyper voice hasn't hit any notes at all. There's no ears on a sword. They're coming Three through. Down. Give him another down. one. Four down. Just Gatlu, the big Blastoise, going to try and sort this thing out. But they are tearing through this Zapdos. And they're 
tearing through this Gatlu, and this is Black Hand's world, and we're just living in it as they're collapsing on this Zapdos, and this could be it. Black Hand kicking down this Zapdos, just a few hits left. Bang! Black Hand secures it. The final Zapdos, that could be it for the grand finals of the World Championships as the points are going to be raining in here. Nouns is going to do everything they can to push them back, but Black Hand is relentless. The plates are full with Hundo Burgers like Jughead, and they're going straight in. Black Hand was full. They wanted more. KO Streak, a two for Overlord. This lead is stretching out like Taffy. Now Z Sports is back against the wall. If they were kicked through it, they're not even on the same block. They're not even the same parking lot. They're not even the same state or stratosphere or country. This is where they're at now. They're up against it. Where they are is Black Hand's world, and we might all be living in it. Black Hand is 30 seconds away from becoming your world champion, unless Nouns can do something about it. Overlord just putting some more gravy on top right here. 25 seconds right now. There just aren't enough points to score. There aren't enough members of Nouns Esports. Adesu with the Unite move, but I think it's fruitless right here as we have 15 seconds left. Yeah, they're caught out. They're on the back side of nowhere. Overlord's looking for a gauge. They're trying to pad the stats. That's a huge reset timer and black hand, baby. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Black hand is your world champion of Pokemon Unite. Look at them, the best team in the world. EU has burned to the 